Hi, welcome to Three Minute Maths. In this video, we're going to start talking about indices, which some people call powers, some people call order. But basically, it falls into the bid mass uh, way of doing things, and it's this bit here, it's indices or powers. There's three main rules that you have to remember with indices. The first one is, is that something to the power of, say, m multiplied by something to the power of, say, n means that it would be a m plus n. That doesn't make any sense, really, but let's put that in a real practical example. So let's say you've got 4 to the power of 3. You're going to multiply that by 4 to the power of 7. All you do is you add these two indices or powers together, and it gives you 4 to the power of 10, and that would be the answer. So that's the first rule you have to remember. The second rule you've got to remember is a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n equals a to the power of m minus n. Okay, so let's give you a proper example of that. Let's say we use something like uh, 6 to the power of 7 divided by 6 to the power of 2. Guess what the answer is going to be? It's going to be 6 to the power of 7 take away 2, 5. Okay, so that's the second rule that you need to remember. This is number one. This is number two. Okay, and the third rule that you need to remember is something that does actually crop up a little bit in exam papers, and it's something like a to the power of m in brackets multiplied to the power of n is going to be a to the power of m times n. So I'll give you a practical example of that. It's going to be something like 8 to the power of 2, or 8 squared if you like, all in brackets, to the power of 6, well that's going to be uh, 8 to the power of 2 times 6, which is 12. Okay, I hope that's been okay for you. I'm going to give you one final exam paper type question, which is what they want you to do is they want you to simplify something like this. So you've got 6 to the power of 3 times 6 divided by 6 to the power of 2. Okay, well if we're going to simplify that, we've got to use these laws in order to do that. So 6 to the power of 3 multiplied by 6 to the power of 1 is going to be the first law, which is 6 to the power of 4, okay, which is 3 plus 1 is 4, and then divided by 6 to the power of 2, well 6 to the power of 4 divided by 6 to the power of 2, we're using the second law, so that's going to give you 6 squared, and if you prefer you can write that as 6 times 6, which is 36. That would be the answer to that question. Hope that's been helpful. Look forward to seeing you inside the next three minutes.